Hey guys, welcome back to the class. Uh, here the discussion is about go to statement. So in the previous video we discussed about uh, switch case statements and here uh, it is go to statement. This go to statement is also called as a jump statement because it provides an unconditional jump to a predefined label which means when we use this go to statement so we can skip some part of the program. Uh, without executing some part of the program directly we can move to other part of the program and this is that is why it is called as a jump statement and that too here we are not going to use any condition so based on uh, in the previous classes like uh, when you take if condition okay and when you take for loop whatever it is based on the condition then the statements will get executed right or else uh, when we are using if condition based on the condition so it will take whether to execute the true block or it will uh, execute the else block. But here we are not using any conditions for this go to statement. Okay, without a condition, we can jump from one statement to other statement or we can jump from one part of the program to other part of the program. So that is why it is called as an unconditional jump statement. And when we are using this go to statement, we also have a uh, a, a term called label okay we will be using a label with the help of this label only we are going to jump from one part of the program to another part so and this statement actually the go to statement alters the normal sequence of program execution we know that the program execution will happen in a sequential way that is line by line one after another but this go to statement alters this normal sequence of program execution also, it transfers the control from one part of the program to another part of the program, right? And now we will see the syntax of this go to statement. So, this is the syntax as mentioned here we are using a label and this label can be any uh, name, okay? We can give any name to this label. Uh, the condition for the uh, label name is it should not be a keyword, okay? So, we, should, we cannot use any keywords as a label name, uh, I mean... Apart from the keyword, we can use any names for this label and uh, after this label, we have to use colon. Okay, so same like how we have seen for cases, which cases. For cases, what we will do, we will use this colon. In the same way, for label also, we have to use colon. We should not use semicolon here. So here a colon is used and inside this label, we can have a set of statements. Okay, so it can contain some set of statements inside this label and after that we have this go to statement and in this go to statement we are moving to the label. So go to label when this statement is uh, encountered. Okay, when the control comes to this statement then what happens after seeing this go to label the compiler will uh, check for the label that is present in our program where this particular label is there. Okay, it will first check for the label in a program and wherever the label is there the control will directly move to that label and it will execute the statements the set of statements that is present inside this label okay whatever the statement that is present inside the label that will get executed so here what is happening uh, even though we have other statements uh, after this go to label so it will just skip that part of statements okay it will just skip that statements instead of executing that statement the control will directly move to this label part right so if i uh, show you some example then you will get to know it clearly how the go to statement can be used and how the control is moving from a, uh, from a statement that is one part to another part of a program then coming to the drawback of go to statement so the major drawback of go to statement is it uh, makes the program more difficult to read and maintain so when we are using this go to label and when we are using uh, number of go to statements okay then uh, it is very difficult to read the program and it is very difficult to understand where that uh, go to is there and how the execution is happening okay so we will get more I mean it will be more difficult to maintain that code as well as to understand the code that is what the major drawback of go to statement here and in this go to uh, statement we have two types of jump one is forward jump and the next one is backward jump so uh, we'll see one by one what is forward jump and how the go to uh, works in this forward jump also what is backward jump and how the go to is uh, work, working in backward jump okay so coming to forward jump and in the forward jump it skips some of some set of statements 
okay so that is what a forward jump is when we are using a forward jump go to statement then what happens it will skip some set of statements so without executing some set of statements instead it will skip that statement and it will execute the label directly okay that is what the forward jump is and coming to the syntax so this is the syntax of forward jump statement first we have the go to label okay so after this go to label statement we have some set of statements here and after this set of statements then we'll be having our label okay and inside this label there are some statements present inside this label right so whenever your uh, control comes to this statement go to label so after seeing this now what your uh, compiler will do it will search for this label in the program so if that label is present then directly the control moves to this label and it will execute the block of this label okay so what happens here some set of statements will be there na so those statements will be skipped okay those statements will not get executed until the program gets completed or, or, or until the program gets terminated this statements will not get executed okay so this is what the forward jump is here it skips some set of statements without executing these statements the control moves to the uh, label directly right and this is a simple uh, c code which is uh, using this forward jump go to statement and coming to the code starting with the header file then we have a main function so inside main function the first statement is a declaration statement where the variable num is declared and initialized with value 20 okay so now the value of num is 20 and this program is for checking whether the num value is even number or odd number okay so that is what the program is and for checking whether the number is even or not we know that basically when we divide a number by 2 so if it gives us the result 0 that is if if it gives us the remainder 0 then we can say that the number is an even number if it doesn't give 0 uh, as remainder instead it gives value 1 as remainder then we know that this number is not an even number right so the same method we are going to follow here in a c program to find whether a number is an even number or odd number okay so for that what we have to do we have to divide this value num by 2 right and if we divide the value by 2 the remainder should be 0 so for finding the remainder what is the operator we are using for finding the remainder we know that we will be using a modulus operator so this modulo operator is used to find the remainder right if we are using division this will gives us the result that is quotient as the result but when modulo is used it gives us remainder as the result so for that purpose we are going to check if this num modulo 2 gives us the result 0 for that we are checking whether it is equal to equal to 0 the result of this is equal to equal to 0 so if it is equal to 0 then we know that the number is an even number if it is not equal to 0 then the number is an odd number so here we have the condition to be checked if it is true then we are using a go to statement inside this true block and this go to is to the label even so here we are using label even and go to even if it is false then it will obviously move to the else statement for else block we have a statement go to and for this go to we have one more label called odd okay so now even is one label and odd is one label and now we have to define this labels right so this is the label where this has some statements even is the label and it uh, it is with colon okay we are not using semicolon here it is with colon and inside this label we have a print of statement so which will print the value that is a num value is even so if it is equal to equal to 0 it will print it is even and the next label is odd label so for odd label we have a print of statement so which will print the num is odd that is the 20 if, if we are giving number as 20 then it should print 20 is odd right so this is how it is working after this if condition so now the result of this condition is true so if it is true it will execute the true statement that is true block inside the true block we have go to even 
so whenever this even label is encountered then the control will directly move to this label even okay so now the control moves to even directly then it will execute the statement that is present in this label so it will execute 20 is even so that is what given as output here 20 is even so after that the program gets terminated and if you see here when this statement is encountered this part of the statement will not get executed and this label will also not get executed directly the control moves to this label and the statements inside this label will get executed so this is what the forward jump so here it skips the remaining statements okay so this is the forward jump then the second type of jump statement is backward jump so in this backward jump it executes some set of statements repeatedly in order to form a loop that is what backward jump in forward jump it skips some statement without executing it but when we are using backward jump so this will execute some set of statements repeatedly and this forms a loop okay so this is the syntax for backward jump in the backward jump first we will be having the label then after this label only we have this go to statement okay so inside this label label we will be having some block of statements and then we have this go to label after this uh, label we have some set of statements go i mean after this go to statement we have some set of statements here so now what happens when the program is executing first it will come to this label then it, it will execute the statements that is present inside this label okay so after executing the statement then it will come to this go to label so when it finds this go to label then again what happens the control will move to label again okay so again what happens the block of the statements inside this label will get executed then the control again goes to this go to label after seeing this go to label now the control again moves to this label so like what happened it will execute some set of statements these statements will be executed repeatedly that forms a loop here okay so this is how a backward jump works now we will see one example to understand how it is happening so this is the example uh, for the backward jump go to statement and here starting with header file then main function and inside main function we have declaration statement where we are declaring the variable num and we are initializing the variable i to value 1. So after that we are having a printf statement. So now the statements inside this printf statement will get printed as output in the output screen. Right. So it will print enter the number whose table you want to print. After this printf statement, we have a scanf statement and this scanf statement is used to get the value for num from the user. So now uh, in the output screen, user have to enter some value for this num. And after entering this value, here we have a table label. Okay, so a label is there and the label of uh, the, the name of the table is table. And inside this table, we have some statements to execute. That is, we have a printf statement first and then we have an increment statement after that we have a condition to be checked so if the condition is true then it will execute this go to table okay if the condition is false then the program will get terminated without executing anything after this condition and what is this program is for actually this program is used to print the tables okay so based on the number that is given by the user so we are going to print that particular table if the number uh, giving by the user is 3 then we'll uh, find the third table okay the, we'll try to print the third table if the number is 4 then it will print fourth table so now likewise we are going to get we are going to get uh, input from the user and based on the input uh, the tables will be displayed right so now for this example i have given the number 2 Okay, so the number is given as 2 and for this 2 it will going to print the uh, 2 table. Okay, it will print the 2 table. And now coming to this label. So first in the printf statement it will print for this percentage D we have num. So this will take the value 2. So 2 
then multiplied by for the next percentage d the value it will take is i so what is the value of i initially it is already initialized to 1 so it will take value 1 equal to then for this percentage d it will take num star i so what is 2 star 1 that is 2 multiplied by 1 the result will be 2 so this statement will be printed first okay so this is the first statement it is printed so 2 into 1 is equal to 2 after printing this the i value gets incremented and now the i value becomes 2 okay so after the value gets incremented now it will come to this if condition and it will check whether 2 is less than or equal to 0 it is true if it is true it executes this go to label so now what happens the control will again move to the label table okay so after that again it will execute this printf statement and here the num value will again 2 but i value gets incremented to 2 so now what happens 2 into 2 then num star i that is 2 star 2 which will print the value 4 so after printing the statement the control moves to increment operator so now i value becomes 3 then it will check whether 3 is less than or equal to 10 if it is true again it will execute this table so in the same way for how long this process will execute it? until the value of i becomes 11 okay so till value of i is 10 it will print like this that is 2 into 2 4 2 into 3 6 like it will print the output like this okay until 2 into 10 is equal to 20 when the value of i becomes 11 okay and it will go for checking the condition whether 11 is less than or equal to 10 so which will become false so when this condition becomes false it will not execute this go to table so instead it will get terminated right so it will print up to 2 into 10 is equal to 20 and this is how the backward jump works which means so here label is present at the top and go to statement is present at the below this label also it will execute repeatedly okay this label will get executed repeatedly until some condition is met right so this also forms a loop here and this is what the backward jump 